Hi, it's Chicken Bone John here again with a couple of fretless guitars. I just want to follow on what I was saying in my last video when I was talking about the action for fretless guitars. I've got a couple here. This is the one I was using in the last video. As you can see, it's one of our workshop series guitars. And here's one made up from our kits, part of gas box. Really simple one piece neck with the fret markers. That's just a paper strip glued on and lacquered. Now this is the one I was using in the video and the action down here at the nut um, was less than a millimeter. On this one, it's a wee bit more. We'll, we'll measure them in a second. Uh, the other thing, is I measured the action here at the 12th fret, which is the conventional point to measure um, the action on the guitar. The action is the height of the string underneath the string between the fretboard, or in the case of a fretted guitar, between the underneath of the string and the top of the fret. So always measure at the 12th fret and at the zero fret or not to get a good idea of what the action is. Now to measure the action, you can use one of these things, either a regular steel rule, or, or we can use one of these, which is just a, uh, a string gauge, just a piece of stainless steel with these engravings on it. And along one side, we've got millimeters and the other thousandths of an inch. On the back, there's a little guide as to what your action should be you know, and it lists it on here. It only measures it at the 12th fret, but it sort of says, you know, electric guitar, 1.5 to two on the six, on the uh, on the sixth string, one to 1 1.5 on the first string. Acoustic guitars expected to be a little higher bass, higher again. So I tend not to make much distinction between the action on a fretless guitar as opposed to a fretted guitar. For heavy slide use, I might take the action up a wee bit, but I'm only talking half to one millimeter. One of the reasons I'm prompted to do this, somebody said, oh goodness me, my action is five mil at the nut and 10 mil at the 12th fret, which is fine for just playing slide, or if you want to play Dobro style, you know, uh, or lap style on your, uh, laying across your lap rather than playing conventional Spanish style. That's fine, but if you want to start doing more fancy stuff with proper chords, bar chords, bass runs, a bit of solo, it becomes very difficult if you're just forced to use it in the slide and you can't use your fingers. Right, let's have a look at how we measure this. So I'm going to turn this on edge, and hopefully we'll be able to see this. I'm going to use my gauge. I'm going to take the millimetres side. And I'm going to put that against my string here, and I should be able to read off here. It's about 0.75 millimetres. I think I said it was about half in the other video, and that was a bit of a guesstimate, so I wasn't so very far off. And if I go up here to the 12th fret, 1.75 millimetres. So it's fractionally higher than I'd suggested. But that's the region we're shooting for. We do the same thing here. We can see the action's about a millimetre down at this end of the fretboard. Come up to where the 12th fret is. And I can see it's about three millimetres. So that range of about half a millimetre to about one and a half is where you'd, want to, where you'd want to have it. And at the 12th fret, you know, we're going from about one and a half to three millimeters. That's the sort of range I'd shoot for. If you're using a lot of slide, I'd go, tend to go for that slightly higher action. One of the important factor here to think about is when you press your strings down to the fretboard, 
like so, you're going to be bending the string. Not much, but that does increase the tension. And obviously, the higher the strings are off the fretboard, the more they're going to bend, the more they're going to be pulled sharp. So the lower your action is, the more in tune your guitar will play. An important consideration, though, for that is how stiff the strings are, how much tension there's in. We go for fairly heavy strings. This is tuned GDG or thereabouts. And the string gauges on this particular set are 42, 32, 24. We sometimes go on a balanced set. That's, that's got a, a higher, a tighter top string. So if you're playing a lot of lead, then you may find that handy having a bit more tension on the top string. On our balance sets, which you've got the same tension calculated to give you the same tension across all the strings, we've got 46, 30, 22. So that gives you more resistance when you're playing with the slide, which will tend to stop it bottoming out against the fretboard. And also it tends to, you know, it resists that bending more. They'll tend to, if you use very light strings, they tend to pull out of tune more easily. So there you go. That's my take on where the action should be for a fretless guitar. That's my approach to it because I tend to play with uh, a variety of slide and fingered playing. I don't exclusively play just the slide, very rarely, unless, as I say, I'm playing lap steel guitar or dobro, which is a different thing altogether. So, yeah, all you need is a steel rule or one of these special uh, gauge cards. If you've got something like these guitars, we're using a, a five millimeter nut, a five millimeter machine screw bolt on here. And obviously you can just file that groove deeper until you get the action you like. This one is got a six mil. So it's dropped, subsequently it's dropped deeper into the neck than the other one. At the bridge, that really is as low as you can go with just uh, a six mil piece of threaded rod. I've got enough break angle there, but barely. So ideally, a setup like this, where the, the fretboard is set higher than the uh, top of the guitar, then you can use a higher bridge, get a better break angle over here. It's a lot more adjustable than when you line up you know, this fretboard, or the top of the fretboard being down by the top of the guitar. As I say, that's my take on it. That's the way I prefer to set my guitars up. It's not necessarily, you know, there's no, there's no right and wrong way of doing it, but there's certainly, in terms of playability, an easy way and a hard way of doing it. And if you want to play more than just slide on your guitar, you need to get the action down to give yourself an easy time. Get the action nice and low. You know, we're talking fractions of millimetres down here. Half a milli, as I'll repeat it, half a millimetre to a, a millimetre here. At the 12th fret, one and a half to three millimetres. And as I say, <clears throat> I don't make much a distinction between whether the guitar's fretless or fretted in terms of the action. Okay, thanks for watching and bye for now.